This program is brought to you by Emory University. My name is Donna Troca. I'm an adjunct professor in the Institute of Liberal Arts here at Emory University. And my course is called um, From Archives to iPads, Investigating Discourse of Sexuality at Emory. Um, and there's several goals of the course. Um, primarily, I was interested in building a database of artifacts about um, how Emory has talked about sexuality in two main publications, well, actually three, the Emory Wheel, um, the Emory Report, which used to be called uh, Campus Report, and then also the Emory Yearbooks. So, um, so the way that we do that is uh, have my students coming up to Marble um, and doing that archival research. They're capturing what they're finding with iPads um, that were loaned to us through ESIT, Emory Center for Interactive Teaching. I'm interested in my students obviously working on their critical thinking skills, their critical writing skills. And then uh, because they're going to be blogging, I'm interested in them developing uh, digital scholarship. So they're writing about what they're finding in the archives um, and also the scholarship on sexuality that we're talking about in the classroom. If I was in a smart classroom, I would just go to the podium and I would look things up. Um, I can't do that um, because there are no computers in the classrooms that I'm teaching in on Thursdays, the days that we're doing archival research. So, and the fact that I have the iPad and I can move around the room, and I am constantly moving around the room, um, either talking to the students about what they're finding, or helping them figure out what it means. Um, you know, a lot of times they're, they think I know everything that's happened at Emory since 1836, and surprisingly I do not. Um, for them as students, there's no way they could capture what they're capturing here. They could definitely use like a phone to capture the pictures, but they wouldn't be able to caption it. That's the thing that really makes a difference about the iPad is that they do it through notability. They're able to caption it immediately so we know where it's coming from and when it, when it came from, which is really, really important. Because the idea is, is I want folks who are looking at the blog or people who might look at an exhibit if we make one to be able to find these things if they want to. You know what I mean? If they say, that's really interesting, that would be useful for my research. I want them to be able to find it pretty quickly up here in the archives. So if they know where it's coming from and when it was from, I think it would be a little bit easier. It's just a better roadmap. The class is broken up into three modules. So like right now we're in the sexual violence module. So we're doing a lot of reading about kind of um, policies and procedures around sexual assault, you know, the, the working against sexual assault on campuses and how that, the histories of those kinds of things, um, how it impacts you, you know, based on identity, whether you're a woman, a man, based on race, those kinds of things. So at the end they have this, these video group presentations. So they're broken into five groups based on topics. And so at the end of the class, the last two day of, days of class, they'll be presenting those video projects. I see it as more kind of a sh short documentary um, where they basically lay out this is the, if we were to theorize what the discourse is on sexual violence at Emory for the last 175 years, this is what it is. They'll be using all the artifacts that they captured. So this grew out of the Transforming Community Project, their um, community dialogues on sexuality. And I saw, I was part of that, based, the one that was based on race. Um, and I saw what kind of impact it had when you had a group of people kind of coming together, doing common readings and learning about Emory. And every time, I, every time I facilitated it, I learned more things about Emory. And you know, this is my life. I spend most of my life here. So I felt like it's, I, it, was an, it was important for me for us to learn those stories, like the ways in which we talk about different topics. And because I felt sexuality was one that we hadn't seen a whole lot about, um, kind of even in the general uh, materials on Emory, and I understand why that is, because I think it's a touchy subject for a lot of people. Um, I really wanted to say, okay, well, let's see, let's see what we'll find. Um, you know, I thought it would be an innovative way to teach, which I'm always trying to push myself, even though it's very scary at times. Um, and I also really wanted students to come to the archives. I think, I mean, and I suspected, and I was correct in my suspicions, many of them had never been here. To me, it just hits home how important it is that we do interdisciplinary work and that we have these kinds of courses that really bring students from across the university, um, many of whom have very little interest in the actual topic, um, and, and expose them to this stuff. You know what I mean? I think that's how, that's how people you know, really find their callings, I think. The preceding program is copyrighted by Emory University.